We can talk a lot, but I think the most beneficial part of what we can do is when something happens, we have to be prepared to act. And I think sometimes that action part is missing. You can't be afraid of speaking out, of stepping up, and doing what's right. The qualities it takes to be president of AIA, first of all, I think is to have a stiff spine. The buck stops with you. Everything that goes wrong is gonna be your fault. Everything that goes right is gonna be somebody else's glory. And that's okay with Bruce. He doesn't mind that. He's not in it to make a big fuss about Bruce. He's in it to lead for the purpose of the practice of architecture. Bruce's temperament is terrific. He doesn't uh, get too excited too quickly or overreact. Bruce will usually get, try to collect the facts and then make a response and that's, a, again, a great quality of leadership. He's a consensus builder. He reaches out and makes sure that um, when he's making big decisions that it's not just Bruce talking. He's looking out for the betterment of, of all members. Life sort of boils down to two things. It's, it's people and it's the opportunities you have to impact their lives. I can, in general, work with any type of person. I really don't value my opinion over anyone else's and that's something I think that's important on the board. It's one vote that the president has so it's really about working with everyone else to put in place uh, effective programs and, and to make decisions that are, that, that are in the best interest of our members.